Hi, I'm Manny Feldel. Do I do, uh, do uh, say what I do? Hi, I'm Manu Feldel, a chef by trade, but also TV presenter. And this is my South story. So as a young kid, I wasn't really um, interested about school, I suppose. And uh, there's a couple of things you can do to escape school is getting a job. I'm fifth generation chef. My dad was a chef. My granddad was a chef. My great granddad was a chef too. And um, food was always part of uh, our family, I suppose. And I really never thought of being a chef myself, but uh, by the age of 15, school was kind of going not so well for me. So I decided to go and work with my dad for, for a bit. And, I discovered that that's exactly what I wanted to do. So I grew up in uh, Brittany, which is the northwest of France, uh, and left when I was 18 to England. Living in England, I worked with a lot of Aussies, Kiwis, South Africans, and they all had a beautiful story about their own countries, but uh, Australia was the one that really appealed to me. Uh, firstly, because it was really far away and I wanted to really travel. Uh, I was hoping to perhaps come here for a couple of years and then drift back slowly by traveling the world. But uh, I got stuck here 22 years ago and uh, yeah, I never looked back. Funny enough, when I got here, the level of, uh, I suppose, quality of food and knowledge of food was not really there for me. I, you know, obviously Europe, uh, there's a lot there and there's all those Michelin restaurants and there's a lot of exciting food here. It was a little, behind I suppose but then the 2000 Olympics happened and I think the country opened the doors to the rest of the world uh, people like me people other chefs uh, decided to turn up and open restaurants and then it's just starting to flourish I suppose and I was starting to share our knowledge and um, and now we one of the best country in the world when it comes to food So rugby league uh, pretty much disappeared apparently just before the Second World War. Um, Union is a huge sport in, in France and especially the south part of France, Toulon, Toulouse and all those places. League in France is, I think, still semi-professional. I realized very early on that uh, the rugby culture, either union or league, was a really strong culture here. And when my son John T was young enough, I thought that would be the sport for him to connect with people and be friends forever. And I, I believe that uh, guys who have been playing together for such a long time are still friends when they're 40, 50, 60, 70 years old. And I, that's the thing I wanted to uh, uh, teach my son. Uh, I had a little kitchen studio in Edgecliff and my friend Gavin was doing a bit of PR for DeLonghi uh, which was on uh, the top of your jersey at the time and they used my kitchen studio to bring some of the players to do a bit of filming and then for that we got invited to our first ever Rabidos game with John T who was only uh, nine or ten years old at the time and from that day onwards the Rabidos were our team. I've got to say I like I am a big supporter of the Rabbitohs with the dad, but my son is absolutely crazy about the club. Like, uh, he's, uh, it's his only dream that he's got. It's to firstly become a professional player, but also to play for the Rabbitohs and watch this place because I'm, I'm sure he'll be there soon. Medium to high is the way you need to cook stuff. Never on the high. A little bit of oil on each side, salt, pepper, and then put the steak on. If it depends what you want to make your rare, I do make your rare. So two minutes on one side, don't touch it. That's the thing, don't touch it. Because you guys like to have a video on one hand, songs on the other, and just putting up thinking the steak on the your school, okay? It doesn't cook it. So leave it on there for two or three minutes, flip it around two or three minutes, let it rest on top of it for two or three minutes. That's it. Resting is more important because it keeps on cooking or it keeps on finishing the job. So we just name a couple of players. Yeah. And then if you can think if 
they were to be a, a dish, you know, what, what would be their dish? Wow, okay. Probably start with Cam Murray, I think he's... Cam Murray, what kind of dish would be? Uh, Cameron Murray! He's gone over to school! Something that, that uh, is uh, fresh and, and lasts forever, I suppose. <laughs> oh, straight through the Cameron Murray! I'm gonna say something like sashimi because you have to be skillful to be cutting a piece of fish and, uh, and it's, it's clean and it's um, full of flavor even though that it's quite simple. Here it's Cook, getting a ball away for Murray. Oh, he goes through the air. He flies oh, over the air. Number four, the South captain with the opener. Black ball, Graham, gave it to Johnston. Alex Johnston. I'm going to say uh, like a beef stew because he's tough, but you know, he's also soft if you kick him for a long time. Johnston's going to score for South. What a blow by the Roosters. Get to the way, chance here for South Sydney. They've carried it all the way to Alex Johnston. Sends the ball away. Mitchell, Latrell Mitchell on the counter attack. Down the wing he goes. Latrell is going to score. Unbelievable. Whoa. He's a... Uh... Um, hang, hang on, he, he's like, um, he's got a lot of chili in his dish, this one. <laughs> he, he packs the punch. <laughs> he's a spicy curry, I'm telling you, he's like, yeah, it's like, it's, it's the dish that you put, you put too much, too much chili in it and then suddenly you can't get rid of it. <laughs> Latrell slams it down and he didn't think the tackle was completed. Beautiful. That's outstanding. Latrell Mitchell with the try for the Rabbitohs. He's Burgess steaming through. Thomas, uh, he's, uh, he's a bull, isn't it? Um, the bite that it keeps on repeating, you know, it's, it's never, it never, it always stands up and go for another, another clash, boom. I mean, he's not the fastest either, so I'm gonna say uh, garlic snail, because he's, it, the garlic is, you know, it's always the punch of the garlic, but it doesn't move too fast either, but he's strong. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's a dessert because he always finished the job. You know what I mean? He's the last dish and boom, you remember about it. He's a, yeah, he's a yeah, dessert in general. <laughs> it's true though, isn't it? Like, he gets the job done right and boom. And now it comes out here for Cody Walker. And Cody's gone into score. Walker. Uh, Damien Cook, um, wow, <laughs> it's, it's a tough job here. Uh, a few moments later. Yeah, sharp, yeah, sharp, sharp and fast. Um, Two hours later. I've got so many things going to my head, except nothing that sounds like him. One eternity later. It's funny because I want to I want to refer him as a as a chicken, but we can't because because of the roosters. But is you know the, trying to catch a chicken, a live chicken, and I think is is exactly that. Like he, he can really go in, in either ways of of the field and just slide in. So I'll I'll, I'll do the I'll do the. The French dish, the coq au vin, which is the, the chicken in red wine. <laughs> Cook goes away. 